upstairs. <laughs> You're out of breath. So welcome to my apartment here in Shenzhen, uh, Nanshan area. If you come back with me, I'll show you the first area that you see once you walk into the apartment, which is the bathroom on the left. So come on in. I love this bathroom because it's quite simple, right? It's our guest bathroom and it has a nice little walk-in shower and then a Western toilet, which I absolutely love. It was a must for me when like looking for an apartment. Uh, I don't mind the squatty potties, but I just don't want them in my home. So then coming back to this area, this is like our living room area as well as our dining area. This is our dining room table. We can actually turn this table around and then fit two more tables at the end, which is nice. So we can make it for six people if we're having some people over for dinner. And then right over here is just our living room. It's pretty standard. The actual apartment came with a couch that matches this one, which I don't like. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and get that couch out and then get this couch in. And the, the best thing that I like about this couch, I'll show you, it's an Ikea couch for the win. So it's got like the nice. You can sleep six here. Exactly. So slumber party at my house. And then of course watch movies and like hang out over here. I feel like you can never have too much of it, but there's actually a storage bin underneath here that we keep like a lot of our games and things that we don't use on a regular basis. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, and then of course our two little tables. Uh, this is our television, like our speaker system, more storage here. We keep like a lot of our electronic things there, uh, some movies, things like that. And then the school bookshelf, this is probably one of the features that came installed in the apartment that I like the most. I love books, so having a place to just like put all of my stuff on display is really nice. Blue Yeti Mike? Yo! Yeah, why are you playing that? Podcast is coming soon! Watch out, watch out! No, that shit's top of the line. Top of the line, guys. So look out for my podcast. We'll drop the link below. It probably won't be active for another two years. <laughs> Um, this whole apartment, it's a furnished apartment. The actual building itself is a hotel that also has a residence portion. So because it's a furnished apartment, a lot of these things aren't necessarily what I would say are within my interior design taste, but you know, you kind of take what you can get. So we're trying like slowly to make it more like home. We've been here for about a year now and uh, really just trying to see like what we can fit in here to, to make it more of our own. Um, so like some pictures and things like that, of course, always help to make it feel a little bit more homey. And then out here is our patio. So my husband is really into like gardening or at like one point he was like really, really into it. So this is like the remnants of what didn't survive after our like last little vacation. These were all like veggies and things like that, but these plants are actually still doing really well. These are some of his favorites. He's still taking care of them. Are any of them like mint or you can eat any of them or? I don't, I actually don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not my garden. But a lot of things that we thought would grow here don't actually grow. For instance, we started with like tomatoes and we realized that like we didn't have enough space to grow as many tomatoes as we like wanted to. So then all of those died very quickly. But this is pretty like a nice area to sit out. Sometimes in the morning we have coffee and like sit and talk before work. You sleep in. I do. Don't lie. Ah! <laughs> For the views. So first of all, let me tell you about my morning routine. I normally get up around six o'clock in the morning and I make myself a shake. Then I go down to the gym for two hours. <laughs> no. Are you joking? Oh, obviously, look at me. So come on back in. Let me show you the kitchen. I think the kitchen is my favorite part of the entire apartment just because it reminds me of being back home and I myself love to cook and it's nice to have all of the appliances that I need to cook. Uh, so we have an oven here, which it's a little bit smaller than I think most ovens are or like the ovens back home in America, but hey, it'll do, it's fine, it works. Uh, and then we also have like this induction cooking top which is really nice, uh, as well as a microwave. So we don't use a microwave too too often, but it definitely comes in handy. I think like an oven as well as a microwave isn't standard in a lot of apartments in Shenzhen. So this was something that I think was definitely a must for us. Uh, if you look over here, more wood in the apartment. Uh, but this is actually our refrigerator. So we generally don't keep it too full because it's super easy to access fresh fruit here in Shenzhen and fresh veggies. 
So over here is like our guest room or our second bedroom. But because of COVID, we haven't actually had guests over. So it's really more of like a Taobao storage area. One thing about this place that I don't love too much is the stairs. It's like a little bit too much on my lungs. But it's still nice to have like the lower level and the upper level separated. So this bathroom is actually my husband's bathroom. Uh, and inside of here, we have our like washer and dryer. So we have that and that came with the apartment, which was a really great benefit. Uh, and then this is, as Phoebe called it, the playroom. <laughs> No, it's like, it's an office, but my husband uses this room for like some of his projects that he's like working on, trying to create different things. He's making um, like a light frame for these 3D photos that we make. We make a lot of 3D photos for people. Woo! Yeah, let me see that. Can you see, like, can you actually see the 3D through this? Like, and the lighting's gotta be strong. Does he it. just do that for fun? Fucking hobby. So sexy. Oh. I like to eat, <laughs> it's my main hobby. Uh, but like that's where all of his clothes are and things like that. This is a master bedroom where we sleep. I love that there's so much space on like either side. So like if one of us gets up before the other one, we don't actually like disturb the other one. The bed is so comfy. It came with the bed itself, uh, but I was really surprised because a lot of beds here have like that, like very hard, like hard, mattress and then of course some nightstands and the night snacks <laughs> got us we got twizzlers <laughs> twizzlers yeah so right before i go to bed i like to eat one of these and think about home because i can't currently go home and come back without a two-week quarantine uh yeah so i'm thinking about you every night as i rob my teeth <laughs> here's my closet I normally like fold up all of my jeans and stuff like that uh, because it's Shenzhen and like you really don't wear too many jeans. It's so hot. Uh, and then keep my jackets and things like that inside of here. Where's Chris's stuff? Oh, he doesn't have anything. He's got like four shirts. No, so his stuff is in the wardrobe in the other room. Okay, so coming in. So right now my bathroom is a little bit messy. Sorry. I should know better than that. But I really like my bathroom because I have a bathtub, which it's not super hard to find in Shenzhen, but like it's not a standard thing that like you would have in your home, right? Just like I think in America, like with the apartments, like not all apartments have bathtubs as well. But this place has a bathtub. It's absolutely great. Uh, and then we also get to like separate our space some, right? So like I can get ready and not have to worry about like him coming in and like leaving his shaving hair like all over my makeup. So that's good. So I hope you guys liked it. So let's go check out some of the amenities downstairs that I really love about the place. So this is a movie room. The famed movie room. Wow, it's super hot. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, so it's super nice, a bunch of couches, a little screen, your projector. It smells like old carpet, just like a real movie room. This is why you're always trying to get us to watch movies. Come on over, <laughs> come on over, it. Okay. She doesn't live here. <laughs> She's like, ma'am, get out. So first we have a yoga room. Is this where you're doing all your yoga? Yes, so every morning at 5 a.m. Uh, I wake up to do a sunrise session to really get in touch with a person that I will never be. Uh, yeah, I really love the gym here. I mean, it's super basic, yes. Everything that you need is here, which is really nice. It's really spacious. Uh, yeah, exactly, and it's very spacious. And then on top of that, it's included, so like no additional. And you know, you don't feel terrible if you don't go to the gym for two months. So this is where the sauna is, which is really cool. We have this sauna room, which is like a dry sauna, which is pretty nice. Yeah, so it's like a nice like steam room that you can also use like after working out, which is pretty cool. And then you can also get a couple's massage. And I think that's all. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for coming and watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Ah! <laughs> the shoes.